Make a Path presents Let's Talk. Let's Talk. Too soon for Negan. Alright Deadheads, I wanted to make this video because Negan is an important topic. Everyone's talking about it. And what brought this on is there was an interview that Greg Nicotero did. I just seen it today. It was posted on Friday on YouTube. The channel Walker Stalkers. Anyhow, it was at a convention and the one lady brought up to Greg Nicotero, hey, everyone's talking about Negan. When are we going to see Negan? Where is he at? And I was honestly waiting for a response that I didn't want to hear. I was expecting some sort of hype. Anyway, Greg Nicotero said it perfectly. He said, yeah, I get all the hype about Negan, and I can't comment on that. We're going to get to Negan, but there's so much great story right now. I don't understand why fans want to jump the gun and go right to Negan and not just appreciate the story we're at right now and I couldn't agree with him more as a matter of fact I advocate all the time to shut up about Negan already who's he gonna kill when is he gonna get here who gives a shit he should not be at least three years away and I know you get the people in the comments section that is like that's absolutely ridiculous we can't wait three long you know years Three years, depending on the project, doesn't mean a long time at all. Not whatsoever. Now, realistically, I could see them translating the material from the comic at the point we're at now and making Negan a mid-season 7 introduction. That is absolutely possible. But the point I'm saying story-wise, why you can't have Negan show up right away is it doesn't fit. No matter how you try to remix it, to bring Negan on right now, and I see this all the time, and I don't blame fans, I'm not trying to knock you, I'm just trying to say, us as fans, let's not overdo this, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what happens behind the scenes. We don't know if AMC has the power to bully the writers and creators and say, listen, uh, the fans are, won't shut up about Negan, so let's push his story ahead. And then we as fans lose some great story. And don't sit there and give me that bullshit like, oh, they can't make great story that long. This isn't going to happen. Because I see a lot of fans that sound like they don't even understand the story. One comment in particular I saw on Facebook, not in the YouTube comments, not any one of us, but on Facebook, it was on the Walking Dead site, One, a lot of fans were talking about how just cut the bullshit, get Negan in the end of season five right now have them like at the gates drag the people out do the the big kill and it blows my mind how ridiculous that sounds Negan in the comic has a reason for his introduction there's a reason that is so fucking important if you skip that reason you literally destroy the entire purpose of Negan and the entire purpose of out all out war if you take that one damn purpose away that one kill the reason why he did that kill and you just throw Negan in the story right now you just destroyed the entire story we're talking about Negan's appearance Negan's purpose his motive all out war you, you kill it all and I'm trying to stay pretty vague here but my point is Negan kills one of Rick's people because Rick killed one of a couple of Negan's people Negan tells Rick listen I killed your guy because you killed some of our guys and I'm gonna keep it as clean as possible because Negan uses you know 50 f-bombs for every you know <laughs> 52 words he says but he tells Rick that you're gonna follow his rules Negan's rules you're going to give him half of his supplies he's gonna use his group and keep the area safe from roamers and we're all gonna live in this this Negan dictatorship pretty much and Rick has to go along with that he's outmanned it's a no-win situation right there so without it without spoiling any story past that Rick has to group up certain individuals you know certain places and become allies now and they have to go to war with Negan and that is the big all-out war if you take away the build-up to Negan there's no all-out war because now you're just taking a bad guy and all the critics will call him one-dimensional if you pop Negan in the story right now have him kill someone because he's Negan that's what he does you know Negan had a, a very specific purpose in the comic you take that purpose away there's no point in going to all-out war there's no point in even having Negan and then on to the fact where a lot of people cannot believe that Negan is going to come 
a couple years down the line. Now, I myself was looking at the material and they they have to add new material in order to bring in Negan in season nine. And that's what Robert Kirkman said, season nine. Now, I think that's an overshot, at least my gut is telling me. They can definitely pull off season eight for Negan. Episode one of season eight will be episode 100. Negan appeared in issue 100 of the comic book. And I know it's no real big thing, but season eight just feels right to me. How that will break down is uh, the end of season five happens. Rick is most likely going to become the leader of Alexandria. Season six is either going to start with new material or we're going to adapt the No Way Out story arc. Now the No Way Out story arc, I even did a refresher of it because I have a video coming about that and it's just more complex than a lot of people realize. It, it's not just, you know, a herd. This is a big event. No Way Out, to me, if done the right way, can be an entire half of the season. And I'm not just talking about what happens in those, you know, three or four issues. I'm talking about the build up to it and what happens after. And especially now that you have new characters, different characters, characters that aren't in the comics, you have other things going on, you have different story. Between the No Way Out and new material, you have all of season six, without a doubt, Negan will never be anywhere near season six. Season seven is where it gets iffy. We have to see what kind of new material they bring in because they could say, you know what, screw it and bring Negan in on season seven or between the new material and No Way Out, they can stretch that for the two seasons. And I know it's hard to express that without going into specifics because everyone sits down and said, not everyone, I shouldn't say a blanket statement, but a lot of people will sit back and tell me they can't take four issues of the comic and stretch it all out into two seasons. And that's not what I'm talking about at all. If you look at it, you have, you know, what's there, you have new material, you have other things going on. You're not taking, you know, 10 issues of the comic and just stretching into two years, two seasons. You're taking 10 issues of the comic, you know, scenes from over here, other scenes we haven't done yet. You're blending it, you're building a story, putting new material in. So eventually it's going to utilize all this stuff from the comic in a different way, different times, different characters even. And that's what they've done since the beginning. And I totally forgot, if you just brought Negan in right now, do you guys realize that you just took away Jesus? Jesus, who's an important character later on in the comics right now, he's a very important character. Where's his introduction? Because Jesus is the one that leads Rick to a place where they meet the saviors. That's where they meet Negan. And as far as I'm concerned, and I talked about this in my Q&A, if Negan comes in season eight, episode one, season premiere, call that season or the half of that season something to fear. Build it up. Something like Negan doesn't need to be a surprise. It can be if you want it, but keep in mind in the story, we meet the saviors first so we're gonna know he's coming any moment now unless they remix the whole story and again you have to be careful doing that because there's different things at play Negan's motives that character's motives for why he's doing this is crucial to not only his appearance but his story throughout the entire the entire however many seasons he's in the show you know that's crucial that's not just a little fact they can just forget skip over or manipulate without his motive the negan falls apart bottom line and as well as jesus you got the whole hilltop that's gone. You want to bring Negan in too early? No Jesus, no Hilltop. And I know you're saying, oh, we could just put it after. Well, what would be the purpose, you know? It's just, it's a clusterfuck now. Let's start a no Negan campaign. I'm all aboard. Listen, there's another purpose I totally forgot until now. I mentioned it in another video, but I do want to drive the point home right now. It is very, very important for our group to go through a few things, especially the No Way Out story arc. The No Way Out story arc is so damn important to bringing Negan into the story. And a lot of people fail to realize this. And the reason is our survivors in the comic and in the TV show, when they first get to Alexandria, they're not comfortable there. It's not their home yet. 
Now in the comic book, we're not there yet in the TV, but in the comic book, a herd comes to Alexandria and our survivors, some die, but others hold their positions. They fight off the herd and it is one of the biggest battles. At the end of it, Rick says, we can rebuild this place. This is our home. It was like an epiphany where even though we talked about it before, you know, like we'll just take this from them. It hit him so strong, him and the other survivors are willing to put their lives on the line to fight Negan to stay in Alexandria. They're not there yet in a TV show, and they're not going to get there in another episode or two, or four or five. It's going to take them a while to be at Alexandria, get comfortable there, have something happen like the No Way Out story arc, and that's why it's so fucking important. They're going to fight this battle, blood, sweat, tears, mud, it's at nighttime, it's scary as shit, I mean it's going to be horrific, intense, long, there's a lot of shit going on. By the end of the battle, even though they won, they have casualties, some people are wounded, one important character is disfigured for the rest of his life, and Rick realizes in the rest of them, they say this is our home. Uh, long story short, I'm trying to... But there's a lot happens. Don't let me, you know, rushing through this confuse you. A lot of important shit happens. But then we get to Negan. By the time Negan shows up and he says, listen, you're going to follow my rules. You know, we're going to split supplies. He's going to extort them basically out of their supplies. When we get to that point, our group, this is their home now. Alexandria becomes their home, their country. It becomes everything they stand for. And you need no way out to drive that home. You desperately need it. You can't just have Rick and the survivors all of a sudden want to risk their lives fighting for Alexandria because it has walls. Woodbury fell. The prison fell. You know what I'm saying? Terminus was a trap, you know? And you know what? I'm really trying to drive the, my point home here, but think about it like this. If Negan just shows up at the end of Season 5 or somewhere in Season 6, our group, since they didn't make Alexandria their home yet, our group would just simply pack their duffel bags, gather their weapons, and get the hell out of there. It would be one of the most uneventful confrontations in the history of TV. Worse than the manicure gone wrong with Beth stabbing Dawn with the scissors. It's incredible how important No Way Out is, and a lot of people fail to realize it. Even comic book fans, and I want to slap the shit out of every single one of you that skip over that fact. You know I'm playing, dude. I like to be a little rough break balls. Don't get bitchy in the comments. But, <laughs> speaking of the No Way Out story arc, I uh, have another video coming about the No Way Out story arc, and it is absolutely filled. It's so filled with potential as far as being translated on screen. There's so much in that that is just amazing. And the way it could be translated onto screen the right way, holy crap. I can already see it in my head. The conventions they're going to have promoting No Way Out. And I know some people are saying, oh, No Way Out. We'll pop that in the end of season five. Fuck you. Hard, too. As a fan of, a huge fan of No Way Out, kiss my ass. You want to take that and plop it right in a 90-minute season finale with other shit going on? Do you understand No Way Out is so big? It has so much potential of being one of the most amazing consecutive episodes of The Walking Dead to date. That storyline has that potential. We're talking multiple episodes and you want to just take a chunk of it and pop it right into no, uh, the season 5 finale? Just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Anyway, listen, I, it's... I'm getting off track here. Anyway, guys, I am officially, I am on the No Negan campaign. As of right now, No Negan, I want to absorb and appreciate the material we are getting now because some of it, it, it just, again, has the potential to be so absolutely amazing. So, I'm just letting you guys know as a, you know, a Walking Dead video creator, as a huge fan of the series, the TV show, and the comics, guys, just appreciate where we are now and don't worry about you know what's to come 
so much, you know? And I'm also gonna back down from a lot of the questions I get all the time uh, for the Q and A's. Who is Negan gonna kill? When is Negan gonna get here? What color panties does Negan wear? All those questions we get all the freaking time. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, uh, right now, the consensus is that Daryl's gonna die by the hands of Negan, you know? Which, it's just so early to put, I don't know. I don't even wanna talk about Negan anymore. <laughs> I yeah, I'm done with Negan. Done. No Negan. No more Negan. I won't. I ugh, I'm gonna do everything in my power not to talk about Negan until the end of season six, at least. <laughs> That's not true. I got a couple of Negan spotlight videos coming. If you have any final words about Negan you want to get off your chest, leave those in the comments down below. Cause I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.